What's up everybody? This is Air Creed Harry and today is the second shipping container shelter cover I'm putting up. So the first one we put up, you can see it's been working superbly. Now it's time for us to put the second one up. So if you look here, there is the first one and the second one will be going in between these two containers now. So just yesterday, Mrs. Aircreed and I just uh, leveled out the shipping containers. We jacked it up, and um, yeah, that's Mrs. Aircreed. <laughs> we jacked it up, we put some wood under there, and we leveled them out. So the two shipping containers have been leveled out. So now it's time to open the box up here, Wait, take out all... Perfect. So we're going to open up this box now, take all the parts out, pre-assemble uh, most of the archways that go up, these metal arches. We're going to pre-assemble all of those first. And pre-inspect. And mount the bars that go across the two containers. So this video will, will be a little more detailed video than the first. Peace out. Anyone interested in the shipping container shelter cover, send me an email to aircreedharry at gmail.com. The shipping containers come in 40 foot lengths and 20 foot lengths, both are 20 feet wide, which means your two shipping containers have to be 20 feet apart. And um, I'll get you a shipping quote to whatever address you give me. And um, just so you know, these are metal boxes that they come in. And it weighs about 780 pounds. So, just so you have an idea, they're pretty heavy. So anyway, I'm going to open this up now. We'll take the parts out and start pre-assembling. Instructions. This is the tarp. And you can see here, everything is numbered. All the tubes are numbered. And honestly, even if it weren't numbered, it's not difficult at all to figure out. Uh, and I'm about to show you that. So anyway, we're going to take these parts out and start pre-assembling. Okay, so here are your parts. We've got our ratchet straps, which are for putting the tension on the tarp. We have our mounting brackets that actually mount to the shipping container that these bars connect to. Then we have our uh, bolts, our carriage bolts and nuts. And um, the tools we need for these are uh, 15 millimeter this is for the larger nuts and uh, half inch that's for the majority of the nuts that connect 80 percent of the system and then we have a uh, 9 16th and all have to be deep socket only use deep socket the other ones won't work because you can see the lengths of these bolts <clears throat> And uh, this is the rope for weaving the two ends together. Uh, adjustable wrench for tightening. So these are our bars here. They're the ones that go across the top that everything connects to, these bars. These are the middle bars here. Anyway, these are all the bars. And here are the arches. So we're going to start assembling these now, right, Mrs. Aircrete? You got it. All right. So let us begin.
all the items, make sure what is what. Step two, assemble. Check, check, check. Step three, okay. let's go. Okay, so now we're up to the part where we mount these uh, metal brackets to the shipping containers. And um, anyway, I'll show you now how this part is done. So join me up there at the top. Okay, so the first thing you want to make sure of is that all these screws are backed all the way out. Because these screws are the ones that give the tension to this whole mounting system. So this is a rectangle and you can see it fits in this rectangular hole. So we'll put that in there and then from inside here we'll turn in 90 degrees and if you look inside you can see this part where you turn it. So that's the way it went in and we turn it so it's 90 degrees. Then the next step is you want to uh, Align the edge of this bar with the edge of the container and you can lift this up and hand tighten these screws until they touch the container and that'll be enough friction to hold it now now the tool you need to tighten these is the uh, allen key it'll go in here and you use this to tighten, but we're not going to do this. We're actually going to save this part for last. And reason is, when we're putting the arches in here to slide them on, this straight angle being straight up might be difficult. So I might have to loosen these two, which already feel tight. I'll have to loosen this up. And this is a technique that I I, uh, I did on the other one that we put together to get the bar on. So if you can see now, by loosening these and, and tightening these, this bar is at an angle. So it's not long, no longer straight, it's at an angle. And this angle can help tremendously to slip the bars on. And you'll see that when we get to that step next. Uh, not next, but after we finish installing these bars on both sides, the arches will be next and um, having this little angle will help a lot so anyway we're going to continue mounting this whole system up and uh, and then we'll get to the next step okay so the next thing we got to do is slide this into the other rail put a bolt through it and everything's just going to be hand tight for now in mounting these brackets to the shipping container you want to find a spot where this piece will go in flush all the way and is out of the way of these corrugated pieces up here so as you can see here it, it fits but it's uh it's not flush all the way on this side it's not touching all the way and you kind of want to go for the center of these bars so if you look here here wouldn't work because that piece is in the way and if you put it here it's at an angle over here again it's not flush up against there but if you look here these pieces match this the gap up here and the corrugated part here now it's up against the container flush and this top piece is flush so we'll tighten this up okay so I'm gonna tighten this part I can tighten now uh, all the way up so I'm gonna tighten this up as tight as they can go. <clears throat> okay, that's as tight as I can make it without putting some bar in there using some extra leverage, but that's good enough. So, as I tightened it, this whole bracket pulled away a little from the container, but it's alright because 
there's uh, some playroom for this bar in between here. So next I'll, uh, I'll put the washer on and then we'll put the nut on. it's all installed I'll come back and tighten everything down this way I have a little wiggle room I could move things around if I want to align it and you can see how much that moves in there so I'm going to continue on down the road Mr. Aircrete, we have a situation. Have no fear, Mr. Aircrete is here. Dun -da -da. Dun -da 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 -da. I'm breaking down like the rain. Like okay, this is the same like the other side. You put it in this way, and then that piece you turn 90 degrees on the inside. And then we just hand tighten these screws. We position this where we want. Yeah. Okay, again, I'm leaving these loose. Hand tight so that I can adjust it when installing the arches. So that's pretty much it for this. Now we're gonna go do the same thing on the other side. Peace. Okay, so as you can see, all of the arches are up. Now, the next thing that has to happen is 
these center bars have to go in because we have to be able to spread these open to stick the center bars in before we could put any more of the supporting bars because once we put the supporting bars it won't allow us to spread the uh, the arches so um, we got to get the motor home under here so we could stand on it to do that but right now Mrs. Aircrete is going to take these ratchet straps Hello, Mrs. Aircrete. Hello. So she's going to take these ratchet straps and she's going to install them on the uh, on the mounting points that are next to all the arches. So we'll watch her install a couple of those and then we'll get the motor home over here. Go ahead, Mrs. Aircrete, do your thing. Nine for each side. Let's go. Hi, baby. I love you. Say hi to baby Aircrete. Baby Air Cree. Hello. Hi. See, being ratchet is not a bad thing. <laughs> what? That's One ratchet. Down. That's ratchet. Número dos. Okay, Mrs. Air Cree just finished installing all of the ratchets to their mounting points. And now... This is Mrs. Air Cree. I just finished all the ratchety, ratchety, and I'm about to get over. Okay, so next we have these uh, larger bars. These are the bars that go in the center of all of the arches. So we're gonna install these centers now. And um, stay tuned. we're doing now is putting these center bars in and so as we put them in there's a bolt here with an allen head that has to get screwed in to tighten these to so these don't slide in and out so I'm putting the allen key in and I'm cranking down on it pretty tight so after we put each one in we have to put two of these one on this side one on the other and we'll continue on down the line thing to do is to line it up. Put the hole directly over this one so it has a straight and alignment you can get. Then once it's all the way in, we'll push the whole thing and slide it into here. 
and then you might have to lift it to get it in but once it's all the way in we'll put the bolt in here and we'll tighten that up with the allen key same on its side you see it's out here so we gotta slide that in the other side's already bolted in so it's not gonna slide out and that's it now we'll move on to the next one to the uh, archways. So, to install the bar, we need to put a bolt, a uh, pre-made hole that will slide this bar on, and then the next bar has to be slid on to that same bolt there. And then we put the nut on and then move down. Yeah, we're gonna leave everything loose and tight only until everything's up and then we'll come back and tighten everything. This way we'll have some play if we need to shift and move the things around. This side of the arch from the center this side uh, can be tightened down now so all the bolts and nuts are loose they've only been hand tightened so we're gonna start tightening some bolts and nuts step that we're going to be taking while we're here is putting duct tape on here. After we tighten the bolts up so that we don't have to come back again later, um, we're going to place duct tape over. The duct tape has been provided so that these bolts are covered up and they don't cause a friction point where the tarp can rub against and create a hole. So that's going to be the next step. As I'm tightening, this is actually putting duct tape on these that are showing just on the top part where the tarp will be touching and rubbing. The tarp won't be touching the side bolt here. It won't be touching the sides. It'll just be in the top. Oh, this is the other. These joints here where the pipe goes into the other, it's a sharp edge. So these areas here will be covered with tape and the tops of the bolts will be covered. And uh, that again will allow your uh, tarp material to last a lot longer. Back to the music. Introducing duct tape. In this case, we're not using that for the mount. Just grab the mount. No. Yes. Hey! Hey! Pretty baby! Pretty baby!
we got four of these. Two in each corner, two in each container. These are plastic end caps. Push them in. And then you're gonna give them a love tap. When it doesn't fit, you flip them. When it doesn't fit, it's like another one. Okay, so next is assembling these bars together. These bars go through a sleeve in the tarp material. And this bar goes through the sleeve on both sides. One on the left side, one on the right side. And this bar is where the strap wraps around and then connects to the ratchet strap. So to keep this whole thing assembled, um, I'm just gonna tape it so it doesn't come apart while we're installing it in the uh, cart material. The last thing to mount is this bracket here that has this loop welded. And this is to hold the rope, the rope that we use to lace the tarp to the outer arch. So this arch here will have a lacing going through the tarp and around the pole. So we have to mount this. So Mrs. Aircrete, please mount that. Thank you, Mr. Aircrete. And so there are four of these, one for each corner. And this is usually the last thing I mount. We mount? We mount. We like to mount. Like the bunnies. Stop me when I'm too tight. You're good. Sweet. Please. A loving tip from Mrs. Aircree. Stay hydrated, my friends. Cheers. Okay, so this next part, we got to get the pipe that we assembled all the pieces and we got to slide it into the sleeve so we did the first one already now we got to do the second and as you can see here we have to slide this pipe in through here so we'll go through this first one then the second and we'll just keep pushing it down the line.
Okay, so the second to last step we gotta do is put the straps on around the bar that's here. So this is the point where we have to cut a hole in the fabric to put this strap through the hole and into the ratchet, uh, uh, into the ratchet. So if you look here, this is about lined up with the ratchet. I got it in the center here. So right here is where I'm gonna make my hole for this strap. So I'll just, and make sure you have this flap folded up. You don't wanna puncture a hole through the flap. So we put a slice and then we'll stuff this cable, I mean this strap through there. You could use the knife to help you push it in. Then uh, we'll even the straps out. And then we gotta put it through the ratchet. Which is through, you can ratchet it a few times. And this is what's gonna hold the tarp and this is how you adjust the tension in the tarp. So we have to do this all the way down on both sides. And then the very last step is going to be to lace the end of the tarp so that it's all finished. So we're going to continue on down the line, then do the other side. And then well, that'll be it. It'll be complete. So anyway, peace out. We're going to continue off camera this part. What you doing, baby? I'm uh, doing some lacing, my love. I'm lacing up, lacing the tarp to the pipe. Honey, your eyes look so beautiful in the moonlight. Thank you. Ow! Ow! So, this is the lacing process. And, um, I, uh, putting the rope through the eye hose to the uh, garments here and uh, now I'm just going over it again and making it tight I'm not gonna make it too tight because this is about the correct gap we need because uh, we have the same gap on the other side so if I made this too tight and brought this all the way in there would be no uh, flap on the other side so this is the proper distance here. It's about seven to eight inches from the pole to the edge here with his eye, eye hooks on, the eye rings. So as I said, it's gonna continue tightening up these ropes. Can't help 